Access to quality, reliable health care had long been a challenge in tribal communities across the U.S., and the Santa Inez Chumash tribe was no exception. Then, in the 1970s, medical professional and Santa Inez Chumash tribal member Rosa Pace set out to change that. After completing an assessment to determine the health care needs on the Santa Inez reservation, she established the Tribal Health Clinic in 1974. Today, the Tribal Health Clinic sees approximately 17,000 patient visits annually, providing medical, dental, and behavioral health services to the reservation and beyond. The Santa Inez Tribal Health Clinic really focuses on quality health care. And I think that one component of Rosa Pace's vision that we carry through to today is not only focusing on modern medicine, but also on the cultural component of what we offer and integrating traditions and cultural practices into that. Integrated care is the standard practice here. We really are just trying to take this idea that probably was around for thousands and thousands of years and very present in our culture of looking at the whole person. Carrying through the vision of Rosa Pace, who passed away in 2015, has been a goal of the clinic since its inception. We are a primary care facility, and one of the pillars of primary care is focusing on prevention. We're seeing our kids from when they're born, watching them grow up, making sure their development is on track, that they're getting their vaccinations to prevent those early childhood illnesses, talking with their parents about a healthy diet and keeping kids active. At the clinic, tribal descendants continue Rosa Pace's tradition of serving her own community. I grew up here on the reservation since I was three years old. I love working here. I feel like I'm giving back to my community, which is what I wanted to do since I was a kid. I've been here for going on 20 years, and I just wanted to work with the community, the Native community. I've been here for almost 17 years. I run our Title VI program, our Prop 63, our ICWA program, and our community service. The staff features members and descendants of other Native tribes as well. Executive Director Ron Sisson is a member of the Wintu tribe of Northern California. Family physician Dr. Adachi also has a Native background. My mother's family is Winnebago, Ho-Chunk, from the Winnebago tribe in Nebraska. We're originally from the Great Lakes area. I trained in LA and then in the Bay Area. I was excited to find the opportunity to work with the Chumash tribe here. I kind of just fulfilled my dream of always wanting to work in the Native community and help people from my community to stay well and stay healthy. The clinic provides services to patients of all ages, including the indigent, uninsured, and underinsured with a sliding fee scale. And it serves the entire community. I think it's a common misconception that we just serve Native patients. We are here to meet the community needs, not just the tribal community, but the larger community. As was the vision of Rosa Pace, the Santa Inez Tribal Health Clinic has grown to ensure that members of the tribal community and the community at large receive the outstanding health care they deserve. We have grown since the trailer, one doctor, one nurse that was here once a week. I started when we had the second clinic down at the lower reservation, so it's grown triple the size than when I've started. The growth at the clinic has been tremendous. We have seen a lot of our departments really flourish and really mature with programs and services that we offer, as well as patients that we're treating, and our numbers as a clinic continue to go up and up and up. And we're always looking for ways to expand, ways to see more patients, ways to offer more services to our patients and to our community members.